here's Holly's babies. They're three weeks today, actually. Let's see if we can go in for a bit more of a close-up. <laughs> and of course, they turn their head away. Come on, you. Hello. Let's have a look at you. Let's have a little look at you, hey? Look at you. Yes, and you too. Oh, big yawn. Hello, you. Hello. Red boy is asleep. Hello. <laughs> Let's wake you up. Hi. Oh, you want some attention too, do you? Hey. Hi. A big yawn from you too. Yes. Oh, is that a good scratch, is it? It's a good scratch. So I've put a piddle pad down because they're three weeks now. They're starting to walk, so I've just changed it from overnight. Holly, you want to come and say hello? Come, Holly. Come. It's a good girl. It's a good girl. Hello. 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 Hi. Oh, you're climbing up me. Okay. See, they're starting to walk around. And I've got this bigger mat here. It's a, a puppy piddle mat that um, I can wash. Look at the little tail. <laughs> There's your mum. Oh, she's gone. That's because she wants to come and cuddle me. Hey, Holly. I know. Good girl. All right. I'll leave you to it. I'll get out. Oh, she's going to come out with me. So, as you know, I'm in the process of building my new puppy pens. But uh, these are the old ones. And mum can just jump in and out as she likes. <laughs> There's the others asleep. Right. A lot of you have been asking for updates, so there you go. They're very cute. Okay, guys, welcome back. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> now, I've got something really exciting to show you. I've made a new mold. Now, I was totally, totally inspired by this mold, uh, for this mold, by a lady um, on YouTube called Petra. Now, Petra, I hope I can pronounce your name properly. Um, Yongload, is that right? With a J? <laughs> so, she did these um, amazing molds. Uh, she did it with, um, like, if you haven't seen it, like a yellow, oh, I don't know what it was, some kind of silicone or plasticine or something, and then she put her crystals into it. So anyway, I've done something similar, and I said to her, Petra, I hope you don't mind if I have a go at your um, crystal edge, and she said, no, you should love to see it, so thank you, Petra. So that's what I've done, and I've actually made a mold. This is just my prototype, my first attempt, and you can't see it probably, but in the side here... Is, um, is a druzy crystal edge. So I'm going to get started. Uh, I'm going to, I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus resin. And I'm just going to divide it into my little cups here and I'll talk to you what I'm, about what I'm doing as I go. So this, the top one is going to be for my pigment paste. This one's going to be for my ink and then just a little bit for the clear. I probably don't need all this resin, but I've made it up. I did 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. So I don't want quite as much of the clear as I do the other colours. So the other two have got probably a third of a cup and then the clear's probably got mm, a quarter of a cup. Okay, so that's it. Now, um, I was looking at the two, my two blue inks. This one's more of a, that one was the lapis. It's more like a bluey green. And then this one, the horizon, was that one. I think, have I got it right? Nope, wrong way around. That's the horizon. So I think I'm gonna go with the darker one, I think. Just because I'm, I'm trying to sort of, 
I might, I may even add the two together, we'll see. This is one of my Druzy necklaces that I've got. Like I used to make and sell these years ago, years ago, <laughs> before I started doing acrylic pouring and resin and things like that. So that's the kind of the look that I'm going for. See this inside here um, with kind of a darker blue edge. So that's, that's sort of what I'm gonna go for. I've got ink on my hands again. Now, I'm sorry if I sound a bit echoey. I got so sick of working in my kitchen. I'm working in my new dog room. It's not even ready yet, but I'm just working in here because it's a long weekend. And um, I thought, why not? There's no builders. I've got like three days of no builders and no noise and everything, so I'm gonna work in here. Uh, right, now, this, oh, this is the other thing. Actually, I might take my glove off. Because I've got the druzy edge, I wanted to do like a little druzy center. So this is a little druzy crystal insert that I've made. It's flat on both sides. Now because I want the top that you can see to be the top of my piece, I need to flip this over. And I'm not, there's not much surface area there, but I'm hoping to the resin gods that it'll work. Because like I said, I want this to be the top, so I need the wider area to be the hole on the top. If I turn it over, I'll have a little tiny hole on the top and it'll open up underneath. So I'm gonna try that, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I just made that myself. I may I may sell these at some stage, we'll see what happens. Now, my paste, I'm using Smoky Blue. That's it there, from Lorez. And I'm gonna treat this like a white pigment paste because, because it's a pale paste like this, I'm assuming it's got a lot of white in it. I'm just going to stir it, wipe the sides at the top and the bottom. I'm going to keep what's on the sides. I'm going to stir that and see what it looks like. So if you don't want to watch me stirring and mixing colours, now's the time to fast forward and catch up with me a little bit later on. But um, it's too difficult for me to stop the video, or take my gloves off, walk around, stop the video, <laughs> come and stir colours. I'll put my, put my gloves back on, stir colours, wait till it's done, go back, start the video, up. oh my gosh, anyway, so I'm just going to do this, I want it just opaque, I don't want it too heavy, otherwise the paste is all going to fall to the back, I'm going for like a lacing kind of a geode agate, well not geode, see there's druzy, there's geode and there's agate, and I get, I know druzy crystal is the crystal, and then the geode is kind of, I think, the shape. I don't know, is a geode similar to an agate? I don't know. Anyway, so that's that one there. Um, now, let's have a look and see how this horizon blue is going to go. And if I don't like the colour, I will mix it with a little bit of the other blue, but let's just have a little look. Because I want something that's going to match with this nicely. So, yeah, that looks nice. I think this one was a bit too bright, a bit too in your face. So that was only three drops. I may do a little bit more. I, I do want it to be transparent. And the inks, these inks are transparent. But, I mean, it looks very dark in there, doesn't it? But then when you sort of put it here... Oh yeah, that looks, that, I think that, that'll do, yeah. But always check it on a piece of paper towel because it's going to look much darker in your cup. And then that's my clear, so. Alrighty, this is exciting. I set up a little workbench. I had a workbench that I bought um, a little while ago from my new studio. And it was up in the shed in a box, so <laughs> I carried it down. It was heavy, it's like 90 kilos, um, 180 pounds. And um, I set it up, so this is what I'm working on. So I'm very excited to be in, at least in a room, away from the kitchen. Right, now the first thing we're gonna do is start with this. Now, not because normally, well, I do puddle holes with this, but because that's in the middle, I don't know how successful my puddle pour is gonna be. Oh look, I'll just do it, I'll just pour in the middle. Haha. <laughs> Like so. No, I, I'm not sure if I need all of that resin, so I won't scrape. Okay, and then the next one is a transparent. 
Let's just get you to the outside a little bit. Hope I've made it not too opaque looking. And there's a little streak there. I haven't stirred it properly. I thought I did, but obviously I haven't. All right, so in goes the transparent. And that'll push everything else back. Oh, it's got a little point there on the druzy. I feel like it's been forever since I've done anything apart from 3D blooms. You're probably getting sick of them too, but like I said, I've, everything's packed. I'm very limited as to what I could do. I had to go into the shed and find these. I went, I went through so many boxes looking for them. All right, so that's done. Let's give it a quick little torch. what's going on there okay and then um, some clear on top just to push all that out it's funny because I've got the, the druzy's got like little points you know on the edges got little edges <laughs> and the, the resin's picking it up and um, following its shape look at that it'll change though it'll move and change and do what it wants to do. So, not that, that was pretty good actually, that amount. But this, this is a pretty deep little coaster mold. Like I said, it's my, it's my prototype, it's my first one. So, I'm just gonna clean my sticks while that's thinking about what it's doing. I can reuse my sticks. Put them here. Where's the other one? So we're just watching that, seeing what it's doing while I'm cleaning my sticks. And see, because I'm in this room now, it, this is my, this, actually I'm in my old studio, so it's got a concrete floor, so when I walk around the table, I don't, you know, shake everything, because I know it was annoying for, for some of you that were watching my videos and everything was going, shake, 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 but couldn't be helped. Oh, I didn't check to see if this was level. Oh my gosh. I knew there was something else I had to do. I will check shortly though. Um, I will. Now there's a little dot there. I don't know what that's from. Let's break that little dot up. Probably shouldn't be playing with it too much really. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to leave that now. Um, it doesn't matter if your little druzy piece in the middle if you've gone over. Um, ideally, you you know, you probably wouldn't go over. Oh, 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 I'm slam the door. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wind caught it. All right, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, if, if you have gone over, I actually forgot. I was looking at the sides thinking, oh yeah, I can put more in and then I didn't. I went over the top of my druzy, but it doesn't matter because if anything goes over, any resin goes over the top when we peel uh, when we take the coaster out, we can just peel that off. So hopefully, see it's all coming in now. Hopefully, hopefully, cross fingers, um, it'll work. And uh, we'll have a, a pretty, pretty top. If not, i just do it again. All right, last little torch. And then I'm going to have to go and get my spirit level and just make sure I'm, I'm level here. So... I'm going to put you on pause while I make sure my table is level. And it will give this a little bit of time to do its thing. And I will come back to you soon. Uh, and we'll see what it's doing. So here's my little setup at the moment. <laughs> like I said, this is my old studio, which is now being turned into my dog room. Hopefully you guys have been following my little studio videos. Um, so this is what I've, this is my setup. <laughs> so let's go and have a look and see if this is working. Shall we? Let's have a little look. Let's take the lid off. And we can have a little look, see what it's doing. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's so pretty. See, that's the one I was trying to recreate. Oh, it's very similar. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I even got that dark blue, very similar around the edge. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Wow. I was not confident that it was going to work, you guys. I was thinking to myself, I've put too much paste in. But there it is. All right, I'm just going to cover this back up again. Um, when I cover my resin, I always make sure that um, I've got a gap like this. Um, I don't like to have it straight like down. I like airflow um, because resin, most resins don't like humidity and if it gets like too hot or moist under here you might get that, um, you know the amine blush, that sort of sticky, oily, stick, oil slick thingy on top. So I, I always do that so I've got a little gap. But enough coverage to stop, you know, dust and fluff and stuff going in there. So there we go. Very excited. Um, I will see you tomorrow for the unmolding. Yay! So happy it's working. Hey guys, I'm back. It's set. When I'm looking through my screen, <laughs> it looks much more bluer than it actually is. It's a, it's more of a um, like a baby blue, like a pale, almost a bluey grey colour. I just, yeah, see that looks nothing like what it does in reality. Anyway, when I take my photo I'll change it, but, but I think what you can see through the screen is totally different to what I can see. Oh, here comes the rain. So anyway, it's the same day, it's just a, uh, we're in the afternoon, it's about 3pm and I want to get it out. Oh, look! Look at my crystal edge! Woohoo! Because I was thinking I'd rather do it when it's still maybe a tiny bit soft in case I have to just snip away some of this. We'll just pop that down for a minute and I'll move my mould. For some reason I was thinking they would be clear. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but no. <laughs> Let's have a little close-up look at them, if we can see them. The crystal edge, look at that. It's really sparkly. I would like to do one that's got just a clear crystal as well. So that's the back. Not that we're looking at the back, uh, we're looking at the top. Now, how do I get this out? How do I get this out? I need to take it out from the top. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can pull it out from the bottom. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I'm going to have to get my little clippers and just make a little hole in the top because I've gone over. Well, I had to go over because I was doing a puddle pull, wasn't I? Right, let me just go and get my clippers. I'll be right back. I'm going to use my little cuticle clippers. So this is what it looks like without the colour. It's just clear. I don't know if that's going to focus. See that? Isn't that pretty? It doesn't know what to focus on. It's really pretty and sparkly. <laughs> I always have trouble focusing. So anyway, let's see if we can get this top off. We'll dig in with, ah, it's quite a lot on top there. I'll just dig in a little bit. I'm not sure where I'm going to stop. I think what I'll have to do is I'll, I'll take the insert out and then I'll have to just trim. I can see where the insert finishes under here. So I can see that. This is why I wanted to take it out just before it was, you know, rock hard. But um, yeah, if you don't cover your druzy insert with resin, then you won't have this problem. But when I was doing it, I was thinking, well, I'm doing a puddle pour. How do I not pour over the top? I could have just, I guess I could have just done circles but then I wanted that weight of the resin to push down and out that's why I did the puddle but um, next time 
and I will do it again. Next time I just won't make it so deep on top. I'll just um, just put a very thin layer on top, you know, and, and just take the resin up to the edge of the druzy rather than too much over it. And it will be fine. Just make my way around. I don't want to take off too much just yet. I'd rather come back and trim again if needed. But look, it's the first time I've used my mould. <laughs> so I guess there's a little bit of learning. It's a learning curve. Always a learning curve with anything new that you do. I'll work it out and then I'll tell you, hey? That's usually how it goes. Okay, so now we can see the insert there. And if I've cut enough back to just pull that out. There it is, look, woohoo. A little bit of overflow at the back, let's get that out. And it should just come out nice and easily. There we go, beautiful. Look at that, a tiny bit of overflow on the back there. Let's grab that a little bit. And there we go. <gasps> Look at that. It's so pretty. I just need to just trim this up a little bit more. And then we are good to go. Not a lot of trimming, just a tiny bit. But I'll finish that off. There we go. Look at that. What do you think? Now you could, if you wanted to, um, you know, go over the edge in some silver or some gold and then maybe just around the outer edge there, a little bit of silver or gold to match, or you could just leave it like that. Totally up to you. So I finished trimming that top bit off and I would really like to see what it looks like with the silver edge, just because this has got the silver edge. Like you don't have to, but... I just want to see what it's going to look like. I know I've got some bubbles there. <laughs> I didn't see the problem is I like I didn't want to spray the sides with alcohol in case the alcohol rose to the top and then left like that watermark on top. So I didn't do it. But I think next time I'll try the alcohol because I have got some bubbles. It does look very natural though. <laughs> it looks very very natural. So I'm going to use this. Hopefully it won't be too chunky. My chrome marker. It's got a very big nib on it, so hopefully it will be all right. Um, I'm just going to go around the top first. Let's see what it looks like just with the top edge and the top around there, and I may not do that. We'll see how I go. Try not to put my hand on it because it's not totally cured yet. I guess the good thing about having the bigger nib is you can just run it across like that. So it just gives you that little hint there of the silver. But it is quite a, you know, a druzy edge there. It's not a smooth edge. It's not supposed to be a smooth edge. I've got other coasters that are smooth and straight and all that. So if you want just a, a regular coaster mold, I do have those. But this one, you know, I wanted to do something a bit different. Why not? I get tired of doing the same things. So I wanted to try something a little bit different, a little bit fun, challenge myself in actually making a mold like this because it was quite, quite difficult to do, I must say. All right, I'll keep going. If I decide to do the whole edge there, it might be easier actually just using um, my silver paint, you know, the hobby paint that people use for model planes and model cars and things, and then a little paintbrush just to get into all of those little nooks and crannies. But um, they're packed, so this will have to do for now. So I may just do that little top bit there and then do that. Oh, look at that, I love it already. The little sparkle. All right, now, I probably should have done that first. Now I'm going to touch that with my hand, aren't I? Silly Billy. All right, here we go. It's going to pick up that little edge there. 
um, A, <laughs> because I overflowed it and it's a bit um, ragged because I've clipped it, and B, because it matches the silver on the outside. Not that a real druzy would have that, but, oh gosh, sorry. Um, but, you know, if you go and get it electroplated, it'll have that silver around it. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Just like that. Look at that. What do you think? So pretty. I've got my lacing on top there. If I can turn that ring light away for a sec. And then I can move it towards you. Actually, look at that. You can see more of the, the smoky blue there when the ring light's not on it. And I can see what I'm doing because I don't have the glare on. Oops. So there we go. What do you think? Let me know what you think, you guys. Uh, if you do want this mould, it will be available real soon. Um, yeah, like I said, that was just my prototype. Um, and then I'll get them into production. If anyone wants one, just let me know. All right, I love that. It's so pretty. It'll look really pretty on a cake, on a, not a cake stand, just on a plate stand in your kitchen, hey? I mean, you could use it as a coaster too. Really pretty. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, I will see you real soon for another video. Definitely going to do some more of these. And I want to do some with the crystal edge. Like so. And why can't I? Whoops. Oh, gosh. Why can't I focus on this? It doesn't know what to focus on. Bring that ring light around. I don't know. I'm trying. I can't get it to focus on the edge because it's focusing on my hands. All right. I'll leave it at that. And thanks again for watching. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.